In this video, I want to tell you guys about MoGraph Toolbox, which is a new Blender add-on by Southern Shadi that packs all those motion graphics goodies that can make your life way easier. Things like procedural cloners and arrays, fields, falloffs, text animation tools, animators, and more. So let's see what this add-on can do. At the heart of the add-on is MoGraph Array, which is basically Blender answer to the cloner system. With this, you can distribute or clone objects in various patterns, like linear lines, radial circles, grids, along a curve, and even scattered on a surface or another object. And you can do this just by dragging and dropping the array modifier into your scene. You also have handy gizmos for quick tweaks, so you can interactively adjust the spacing, count, radius, etc. without digging through menus. Another key component is the MoGraph Animator, which lets you add automatic animations to your clones, like looping motions, ping pong back and forth animations, or one-shot movements without needing to set a single frame, which is gonna save you a lot of time. I also think that one of the most exciting parts of Blender MoGraph Toolbox is its field system, which is a full suite of connectors that you can apply to your arrays or other objects to control their animation, I mean in a sophisticated way. And here's the thing. If you have used Cinema 4D's MoGraph effectors before, the concept kind of feels familiar. You can quickly apply coordinated movement, variation, and other effects across many instances with these fields tools. For example, there is a transform field that offsets position, rotation, in addition to scale of all the cloners with simple sliders. And you also have a randomized field to add natural randomness to any parameter, which is great for making clone elements kind of less uniform. And you also have a pusher effector to push objects apart for dynamic layouts. And there is even an image texture field that lets you drive animations or visibly based on a texture map. As you can see, these fields make it easier to animate complex scenes, and you can do this with precision and variety. And you can even stack multiple fields for layered effects. On the other hand, complementary fields are falloffs, which lets you control where and how strongly those fields effects apply. For example, you can drop in a linear falloff, or a spherical falloff for instance, to have an effect fade gradually across a certain region. This means you can make an animation effect on only one end of the array, or create a radial explosion style effect that diminishes with distance. This add-on also comes with a bunch of interesting tools that makes motion graphic design way easier. And one of my favorites is the MoGraph Wiggler. You see, it adds a subtle jittery motion to any object using procedural noise or sine wave oscillation. If you're coming from After Effects, think of it like the built-in wiggle expression for Blender, but as an easy modifier. There is also a MoGraph connector tool that automatically draws lines or traces between objects. With this, you can create those cool connecting line animations, like network diagrams or animated constellations, and you can do this in one simple step, rather than manually setting up curves in addition to constraints. The MoGraph Curve tool is another highlight, because it helps you generate and animate curve-based graphics, and you can do that easily. You can give your curved objects round caps, taper them, then trim them over time for reveal effects, or maybe add dashed line patterns, and even apply noise for wavy and hand-drawn looks. This is great for animating things like flowing paths, swirly text underlines, or fancy calligraphic strokes in motion. On top of that, the add-on includes a shader mix feature, which lets you blend between different materials or shaders based on fields and textures. Imagine an object that changes color gradually, from red to blue, based on another effector, or maybe a text that reveals a neon glow only in certain areas. This is great, but we can't forget about the small utility nodes that come with this add-on. They're actually handy one-click tools to convert a grease pencil drawing to a curve. So put a text on a curve, convert meshes to curves, also vice versa, or even turn any object into an instant object emitter. And to make your life even easier, the normal graph toolbox includes a bunch of presets and example setups that you can use as starting points. In fact, if you're gonna get the full version with the preset bundle, you will get over 20 ready-made presets, with maybe more on the way, covering everything, from text animations to abstract MoGraph sequences. 
For instance, you have preset text animators, things like typewriter reveals, text swirls, random character jumbles, etc., which you can drop into your text and have instant movement. There are also more graph scene presets, like tile transition effect, various fall of driven animations, and other popular motion design setups. So you don't have to build those from scratch, which is gonna be actually a huge time saver. And here is the interesting thing. The core MoGraph tool is actually available for free. This means that you can try the basics fundamentally for free at no cost, which helps you get a feel of how this system works and then upgrade to the full version if you feel like it, in which you will get everything from all the features and tools in addition to the presets if you choose to get the full version. So if you're interested, you will find all the necessary links in the description. And there you have it guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, please subscribe to this channel to receive more videos like this. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.